or think yourself crowded that something comes to me to act to be taken back again on the ship. Strange as it may seem, when this life falls within me, released from the dark, it overturned and our limits were drowned. Naturally, I was very frightened by this time, and I went quickly to the other side. The next boat was being sealed, and I was the last to go to get out of it. The water was by this time nearly on a level with the dead, from which the boat should be lowered. Now, between lowering one boat and another, I frequently took a run forward and a quick look down the long stairway that led from the boat deck three or four decks down. Frankly, I'm never likely to forget the sight of that cold, greenish water creeping step by step up that stairway. The ship was now sinking fast. Now, the first thing I our whole trouble was in getting away as quickly as possible, otherwise our boat would be pulled down with the ship. During all this time, the ship's steamer was kept saying that the strains of me and my artillery could be buried as the servant of the great ship was raised in the air. A bit later, the foreign funnel guys carried away, and the funnel, weighing perhaps 50 or 60 tons, fell down with a crash on the water. It missed the rock by, and some of us hanging on to it, by inches. There were a good many that didn't miss. Next thing I remember, I was still hanging on to a bit of rope attached to the rock, but some 30 or 40 yards away from the ship. The wash of the falling funnels had heavens and picked us up, rock and all, and let us clear the ship altogether. I was surprised to see me all boats had gone, and there was a, the last boat, I think, to leave the Titanic was number 13.